Have you ever thought about using the equity in your home as part of your retirement plan? Living here in the Bay Area, a lot of people are living in a golden goose egg. They've built up so much equity if you've owned your house 10, 20, 30 plus years. Uh, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. How to use your home equity as part of your retirement plan. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker, realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in helping people sell homes and trusts and probate. I also work with seniors when it's time to relocate. So today I've got an expert, David Kohler here. Dave has his own CPA firm, Kohler & Associates, in beautiful San Jose on the Alameda. He's an excellent resource for any kind of tax implications. And he's gonna help guide us today, helping us with using your equity as a part of your retirement um, plan. So Dave, tell us, what are some of the things you think would be helpful for people to keep in mind if they're using part of their equity as part of their retirement plan? And it's an exciting time we've been facing retirement, but many people have not had a chance to really slow down and plan as much as they should. They have a lot of accumulated depreciation in our house, and the cost of living is so daunting here and the traffic is so bad, a lot of people look at different options when they retire. Um, there's challenges that we face that you want to protect your legacy, you want to secure retirement, your cash flow. So what I offer my clients and what I look to advise anybody in fact, is you know take a holistic view, take a step back and analyze your option. If you're like many people, your house equity is outpaced maybe some of your retirement savings. Um, Social Security is security blanket, so yet what you're faced with is how you can replace your income, and a lot of times you start looking at unlocking the equity in your house. What are smart ways to do that? Hopefully, you have not borrowed excessively during your accumulation phase, and you have a lot of equity in the spares. And what we really are looking at, uh, about three different options, main options. One, simplest is you can sell and flee California and find a retirement home out of state or in different parts of the uh, state that have less um, expense. And therefore you would end up likely buying a house that costs less and therefore unlock some of the equity that remains from the gain in the sale of your house. Um, the disadvantage obviously of that is if you're married, you do get a $500,000 exclusion on the gain, but 250 if you're not married, and, but you may still be faced with a very large tax bill if you, you know, bought the house at three or 400,000 and suddenly it's worth 1.6 million. You're still facing a fairly large tax gain, like six to 800,000. Um, tax rates could be as high as 34% long-term capital gain. Um, that adds up quick. And then you've lo lost that equity forever. And your kids have lost that equity because, you know, you may, you know, open a pass on your legacy. So. What are some of the other options? Um, one thing I did want to mention is the Prop 60 um, exclusion. Do you want to explain that real quick? So in certain counties in the state of California, you can actually keep your tax base. Uh, so if you're here in Santa Clara County, and you've owned your home for over 20 years, you have a low tax base because you brought, bought the property so low, you can move to these specific counties and bring that tax base. So you keep a low property tax but it does not include all of California, so be careful, reach out to either one of us if you wanna know which counties are included. Perfect, thank you. And what you do save is the property taxes, by the way. This does not have anything to do with the capital yeah. gain. I wanna bring up too is don't just sell your house and be surprised by your capital gain. Make sure you talk to your yes. tax professional or someone to give you advice in that area. The So a lot of people say, well, I really don't wanna sell and move because that becomes such a final decision. Um, other things you can look at if you're really com committed to staying in the area, but your retirement savings are limited, um, if you're over 62, um, a reverse mortgage is an expensive option, but it is an option that is valid for certain people who really want to remain in the Bay Area because they're right down the street from their kids, or they just don't want to live anywhere else. But if you really want to stay in your house, that makes sense. There is another option we've talked about is, um, let's say you do have adult children that want to move back to the area or who have been renting, and you have a lot that's large enough to add a separate building in the back, they're called ADU, um, an accessory dwelling unit. You can build um, like a one bedroom guest house on your property, have your adult children move into your house, and have them pay you 
the rent. So you might be able to help them out, give them lower rent than what they would normally be paying, but it would also supplement your retirement income and you'd be with the family. And there's a valid reason to use a home equity line, to borrow the money to build the ADU unit. Yeah. So I, I, I could get behind that strategy. I think that's a good one. Um, the other strategy is a kind of a, it's in between the two of just selling or just staying there forever. Um, kind of a transition. And what we're looking at is you could rent out a couple rooms like an Airbnb or like she brought up to the um, children. If you start renting the house, then you become, you have mixed use. Um, and if you have mixed use, you qualify potentially for a partial 1031 exchange. Or if you fully rent it out, even better, you'd qualify for a complete 1031 exchange. To explain what a 1031 is, for those who don't know it, is a part of the tax code that says if you take a piece of real property, an investment property, which is like a rental property, and you can exchange it for any other investment property um, and not pay any capital gains. So if you bought it for 100,000, it's worth a million, you've got $900,000 of gain, and you can go sell your house here if it was used as a rental, and you'd get a million dollars, and you could then buy a place in Arizona and turn it after the rental, or Utah, or anywhere else, and you'd pay no gain on that sale. You would have to keep using it as a rental property, um, but after a couple of years, if your mood changes, or you decide you want to retire to Arizona or something, you could then move into that place, make your primary residence, and therefore you've basically evaded, um, through proper structuring, the immediate capital gains tax. Dave, I think it's pretty clear. There is no one option that's the best. Everybody's situation is different. So I highly encourage you to talk to Dave about these different scenarios. Sit down, have a conversation, have him look at everything. He does financial planning and CPA tax work. But again, there's options, renting, staying and renting in your own house with an ADU, doing reverse mortgages, um, selling, Please reach out to one of us to learn more about this. We want to help protect your, your biggest asset, probably, for your retirement and, uh, and help you be able to enjoy your retirement and not be stressed. And that is the funnest part of my job, is helping people enjoy their lives, enjoy their retirement. I hope I spoke clearly on some of the options available to you, and uh, my team and I are ready to assist if you ever need some help. And one thing I wanted to stress, too, is you know, find your team of professionals and um, make sure they're working together because that has a lot of value. And that's what I Definitely. really appreciate it, Vanny, to let me come speak to you. Yeah, teamwork is everything in these situations. Um, Dave, I really appreciate you taking this time. Again, talk to either one of us. All our contact information is here. Again, I'm Annie Baker, realtor here in Silicon Valley. Dave Kohler is a financial planner and CPA in Silicon Valley. We would love to help you. If you found any of this information helpful, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below if you have simple questions you want to toss out. We'll be monitoring this and answer anything you have. So until next time, have a great one. Thank you.